So this is getting set up and deployed with Webtas and Serverless in under one minute. So I'm, first I'm gonna make a directory, my dir, I'm gonna cd into my dir, and go ahead and I'm gonna run the serverless create command. So I'm running this locally, but you would just run the create command. So create dash dash template, uh, web tasks dash node.js. Cool, that went ahead and installed that. I need to npm install the web task plugin from npm. That's what lets us deploy the functions into npm. This might actually be the longest step of the process. Once that's downloaded, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my provider credentials for web tasks. And I'll show you how easy and streamlined that is. Come on, NPM. <laughs> This is a real-time video. Look at all those great dependencies. Gotta love it. Okay. So now I need to run serverless config credentials dash dash provider and the provider is web tasks. Config credentials. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in my phone number that is then going to go ahead and send me a text message. I don't know if you guys can see that. Got the text message. So 64367. Cool. So that's created. Now all I need to do is run serverless deploy. And that is it. So once we actually, you know, install it, I have my live URL that I can go hit on the internet. And there it is. And we can look at the code. This is what the actual template generated. But um, yeah, so I could change this to, wow, fast stuff. Save that, then go ahead and just run another deploy. That will then go pipe it back up and give me the updated code. So refresh this, wow, fast stuff. So that is really it in a nutshell. A uh, couple typos and the NPM install made it a little bit longer than one minute, maybe. But um, yeah, basically that is getting up and running with WebTask uh, where I can deploy my functions very, very fast without needing to, to go through a bunch of, uh, bunch of hoops to actually get started. So I hope you enjoyed this video of getting started in one minute in two and a half minutes and hope you get started uh, quickly and easily with web tasks. There's a lot of cool things you can build with it. Uh, web backend APIs, you can serve HTML back from it. Doesn't need to be JSON. You can set up cron jobs. You can really pull in the whole like NPM ecosystem and run uh, your code on demand without having to worry about the, the scaling and managing of servers. So there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. Uh, I'm excited to see what you guys build. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to tweet at me at David Wells, and I will talk to you soon.